let's quickly go and watch the full video of Chris Alia doing the thing that he's doing so that we can explain to ourselves, why do you think he's doing this? And do you think now at this point, Chris Alia's wife is somewhat involved in the acquisition of these young ladies into their kind of, into their harem, into their cult? Because that could be possible. Maybe Chris Alia's wife is like, you know what? The only way I'm going to keep this guy behaved is to maybe just join in on this shit, you know? Be his um, madame, well, his lady that's kind of, you know, recruiting all these ladies and keep an eye on things, make sure everybody's legal, take everyone's phones when they come through the door and go from there. Maybe that's what they're doing now. It could be the case because she's not going anywhere. They've got two kids together now. I think, is she pregnant already? I don't know if she's pregnant, I don't know if she's pregnant again. I don't know if she is, but they got one already. So she, you're tied to the guy forever anyway. So you might as well try and make it work. Um, she might come from a traditional family where like, you know, divorce isn't really something that you're really um, celebrated or encouraged. So here we are. Let's just try and make it work by being Madame Diddler, right? You're, you're now ma married to the Diddler. So you call yourself Miss Diddler, actually. That could be the case. Honey? Mm. Is that real? You don't real sore yet. Baby, your special has been out for less than 24 hours and you come home with and a shit, sword? Shit is different now. Can you explain? Well, my special came out. Mm -hmm. My new one. Right. My fifth one. Mm -hmm. And I put it out myself. So now you know who. And so I got a, I got a sword. But I, I. And after the Bert thing, what do you think is with these comedians and like being naked? What's the naked thing about? That's like a hack thing, isn't it? Right? Like taking off your clothes. Like. Look how wacky I am. My t-shirt's off. My trousers are off. Look, you can see my dick. <laughs> That's like a hack thing, isn't it? Like easy laughs. Like, what is this? Both of them doing the same thing. And they're both like, what? Plus 40? Like, Chris Lee's in his 40s. Bert's in strong 50. Looks about 60, though. <sighs> I guess I don't see the correlation. Like, I you noticed. put it out yourself. It's amazing. Best special you've ever done. Thank you. But. You're not just saying that because I'm going to have a sword too, right? No, I'm saying it both reasons, yeah. Dude, one thing's cool. You could, if an intruder comes in, because mm. my special is so dope that the intruders might come in. <laughs> Uche, that is so dark. That is so dark. His wife is his tiger, first trap duty. If you know anything about the Bapaverse law, and again, I don't like covering Brendan's wife or his kids. It's not, I don't do that shit. Even the brother, I think that's really lame. People that post about his brother and shit. I know he looks how he looks, but let's not do too much of that. I know I'm probably a hypocrite because I've, I've laughed at him in the past, but I don't have to focus too much on it. But if you know anything about the Bapaverse law, you will know in the early days, not anymore now, because she's more careful. In the early days, Brendan's wife, or as he likes to call her, his girl, my girl, my girl, um, she took a picture. She had a picture on Instagram or something of her like, showing her ass or something, right? Some, some sort of like sexy first trap. I think she was looking over a balcony or something. And somebody on the fucking subreddit zoomed in on the picture. And you can see in the reflection, Tiger, right? The, like Brendan's son taking the picture of the mum and obviously the kid must have been super young like he's obviously young now but he was way young back then he, I don't know how old he must have been like five or six and you see him like holding up the phone taking a picture of his mum as she's sticking up her bum you know ov overlooking some balcony somewhere I was just like how sad bro how sad that you're getting your fucking five-year-old son to take backshot pictures of you with your fucking ass hanging out like how fucking sad like, honestly, that bummed me out so much, man. It's so sad to see. You literally see the reflection of the little kid. Like, he's, And he's literally, if I'm not mistaken, he's kind of like got the phone over his head. Like, he's stretching to kind of like, you know, aim the fucking lens directly at his fucking mum's butt cheeks. <laughs> That's fucking dark. Like, real, real dark. Slice him. And this way, I slice him. I can do the thing where they think, I, I think, 
think I missed. Mm -hmm. I slide and you think I missed, right. and then after a beat, they just play this. <laughs> and just go, Shing! and you're like, oh no, and it comes back to the guy, and you and you just slice them up, dude. You know what happens? I think most stand up comedians, this is their version of hell. Think about the amount of kind of comedians you hear about speaking about the hang, the green room, going on the road, um, you know, the car park chats and shit. These comedians, as you know, they probably enjoy talking to each other and shooting the shit at comedy clubs more than they enjoy finger banging waitresses, bar managers, bar backs, sous chefs, waitresses, right? They enjoy probably speaking to each other more than they enjoy getting cheeky blowers in the back of a fucking comedy club somewhere. They love talking to each other and just hanging around each other. So this must be hell for him. Because the only reason why he's doing this sort of like couples comedy, ha-ha, look how close we are, shit, is because he can't go to comedy clubs. He can't hang around. No one wants to hang around him because he's, he's got the fucking pedo diddler thing over his head. So... People will say, oh, he's not cancelled. He's kind of got away with it. He, has he, though? Has he? Has he? Has he, though? And also, is it me? Hold on. Hold on. Does that eagle look a little bit like... What's that Nazi eagle? On top of it. You know that Nazi eagle that's on top? Does that look a little bit like that? <laughs> yeah, that thing. Am I am I bugging or is that looking a little bit? Like... <laughs> no, <laughs> doesn't that look a bit similar? What do you guys think? Am I bugging out or does that look a bit similar? <laughs> what we <we're> saying? <laughs> my Christopher, uh, my Christopher, like what the fuck? Is that the bird that he got? On his... <laughs> Look at that. SS Christopher. Huh? <laughs> Frau. Frau de Lea. Is I say is that Mr. Frau, huh? Yo. <laughs> I swear that's the same thing. Or am I bugging now? Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> Shite Reich, exactly. That is fucking Crystalia's fucking tattoo. I swear to God it is. That must be the inspiration, especially this one. That particular one there, where it's flat, with those wings, it sort of looks so similar to it. <laughs> Adolf Diddler, exactly. Adolf Diddler. <sighs> How do you say is it though in German? Is it though in German? How do you say it? Eist est trotzdem. <laughs> ist es trotzdem. Or is that trotzdem? How do you say that? Ist es trotzdem. Ist es trotzdem. <laughs> ist es trotzdem. Ist es trotzdem. Ist es trotzdem. Is it though? Is this trust them? Is this trust them? Is this trust them? Is this trust them? <laughs> is it though? Is this trust them? Is this trust them? Is this trust them? Yo, Adolf Christoph, Adolf Diddler, you know. Big up who said that. Whoever said that, Adolf Diddler. Ich bin Diddler, exactly. Is this trust them? Is this trust them? Is this trust them? <laughs> <coughs> Oh, sorry. 